Hola, amigo. I'm Roland. You know why I'm here, don't you? <laughs> nah, you don't. You have absolutely no idea. Anyway, I'll be at your service from now on. All right, all right. Frame upgraded. By the way, have you heard of a story about a farmer raising a cold-blooded animal? Promoted. Shackling yourselves with ranks. What a fascinating human thing to do. Well then, I'm looking forward to what you and your advanced shackles would do with a plaything like me. If you replace all my parts, one after the other, forming a new frame, will I live on like a newborn baby? My battle skills have improved. Train me more. I'll not return the favor. This feels good. A lovely tool for a tool. All right, all right. I'll execute all your orders to the letter. Damas y caballeros. The show is about to begin. Mission complete. Here is your reward. A meaningless mechanical red flower. <laughs> Just kidding. You want to know what my wish is? The end of the world. The ravages of the punishing virus. The suffering of all living souls on Earth. How do you like my answer? Is it in line with your perception of me? I talk too much. Don't worry. I'll be more careful in the future. Hmm. I feel like someone said that to me a long time ago, too. But he's... <laughs> what do you think happened to him? Loyalty. What a good word. Stop thinking and just follow orders, letting others decide what to do. It's so easy. Oh? Don't give me that look. I was just missing a former friend of mine. Oh, la. <laughs> I like that expression on your face. I know your memories of me saying hola aren't really pleasant, but from now on... You'll have more memories related to it. Stay tuned. I'll always be transparent with you, so feel free to throw your questions at me. From the truth behind the Ascension Network to my quirky little habits. Anything. As long as you're ready to pay the price. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's play a game. Imagine we're commoners kidnapped by an evil organization, living in a world without the punishing virus. We're on the same boat, and we've promised to escape together. Done? All right. Now go out and face reality again. Hola, amigo. <laughs> I've been wearing this mask for so long, it's not even a mask anymore. The phrases I used to say behind it just slip out naturally now. How would you treat a jester like me? Have you heard of the Nolmo organization? In the Golden Age, there was a group of people who messed around at the risk of their own lives and even the lives of others. Care to guess if I was one of them? <laughs> of course not. The normal organization is a phrase I just fabricated. Humans are good at telling stories. I've read a lot of them. They're all made up but sound so convincing just because they're based on the author's personal experience and imagination. Some stories are so well told that other humans will even follow the advice they give. Don't you agree? I've watched this Babylonia recovering Earth play so many times. The characters struggled, degenerated, and went crazy. Interesting, but lengthy. So lengthy that it actually immersed the audience in it and made them reluctant to leave. To have a reason to live is a dream that hasn't changed for me. The performance, the Ascension Network... They were the reasons others gave me. But now you ask me to give myself a reason. This is such a cruel thing. An honor for a jester. I have read so many boring stories, but none of them are as boring as my life. However, with you here, it has now become a little more interesting. <laughs> how should I... How should I describe this? Constructs feel the world via devices. Maybe the person I see with my eyes is not the real you, but the you touched up by a program. Well, never mind. 
I've already seen who you really are. Performers can't change the plot of a play, and they shouldn't have that ambition anyway. But there is a performer who wants you on the stage a little longer, to the point that he wishes the play could end right at this moment. Now, <laughs> forget it. I was kidding. If only we had met sooner. Humans always love to fantasize about that stuff. The lines like that are quite easy to say in some situations. Like now. Let me see. What should I say at this very moment if I were one of you? Thank you for your kindness. I promise I'll do my best in future battles. Does that sound good to you? OMG, that's so nice of you. Thank you so much. I'll gladly take this gift of yours. Humans seek meaning in things, yet end up seeking profits from them. I wonder what profits you see in me. Of course I'll accept all your gifts. I'll even do anything, anything for you. As long as you're ready for the consequences. The kindness you cast into the void will be returned with the void. Does a Babylonian commandant have the luxury to waste good stuff like this? I wonder if all the commandants in Babylonia are so nice. <sighs> Fine. Being treated equally like a friend is kind of new to me. <sighs> what exactly do you expect from the void? What am I supposed to do if you keep acting like this? Hmm? Why am I staring at you? Nothing. I was just trying to figure out what you really want. Have I figured it out? Of course not. I just can't help laughing every time you pull something out. What? I laugh all the time. <laughs> yes, that's true. Have you heard a theory that says the more you observe a person, the more you will care about the person, and the more you will suffer if that person is not with you? Hmm. I wonder how long I can stay with you. I know I should appreciate all the gifts people give me, but somehow I have become picky about your gifts. Or should I say that I have started to expect your gifts? I used to think a virtual like me should not be moved by words, but you surprised me. It feels so ironic. What are you going to do with a virtual that has developed feelings? Maybe I should reciprocate your passion by being more honest. The gifts I want are love, justice, and dreams. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't need those because I've already found a replacement for them. Since I can't figure out what you're thinking, are you interested in guessing what I'm thinking? Tell me why a clown would act like a loyal knight just because someone was nice to him. Let me tell you a lie. I used to be popular and thus received many gifts. Out of those, there were boring ones and weird and scary ones. The one you gave me doesn't fall into any of the types I just mentioned. Now guess which part I lied about. Dreaming a sweet dream... I guess I'd better not disturb you before you're woken up by something more dangerous. <laughs> Dreams are the easiest to have and the hardest to achieve for humans. Don't you worry about waking up to a world destroyed by the punishing virus if you keep indulging yourself in your dream. You could end up being like some of the corrupted if you keep slacking off like this. <laughs> but the corrupted isn't doing so bad at the moment. If you can let yourself go like this in front of me, then maybe I can do the same as well. <sighs> I'll sit next to you and stare at the marks on your face. Oh, look at you sleep. If you knew that I was holding your hand right now, what would you do in your dreams? What excuses should I make when you wake up? Or perhaps you would allow me to continue holding your hand. Working tirelessly towards a goal even though it could be an illusion. Now pathetic. <laughs> I wasn't talking about you. 
I just thought of who I used to be. I know dozens of ways that can make humans stay on track and work non-stop even when they lack sleep for a long time. They all worked for me. Want to try? But all of them will inevitably cause permanent damage to your body. Feeling tired? Right. I have some bedtime fairy tales. Want to listen? Although they are the type that could give people nightmares, I believe you are the type of person who can find goodness in nightmares. It's widely believed that people tend to make wrong decisions when they are tired. So, hypothetically speaking, say I pretend to be a good construct right now. Will you take it as who I really am? Oh, you're so tired that you can't even make the correct judgments? How can I ever pass up on this perfect opportunity? Come over here and rest. Yes, that's it. Right by my side. It doesn't matter if you're mistaking me for someone else. I can play the part of someone who can ease you into sleep. Greetings, Commandant. Roland at your service. <laughs> Did I scare you? I thought you would like that. Good timing. I happen to remember some old stories. Want to listen? I promise you won't want to talk to me for the rest of the day if you stick it out to the end. Happy to see you here. Let's take a photo to remember this day. But it seems that my projection device just can't catch your image. What a shame. Hey, want to hear a hypothesis that was popular in the Golden Age? Could it be that I was just created several seconds before you came? Ciao! <laughs> I can't help looking forward to seeing you as long as I'm here. I'm telling the truth. Well, at least for today. I thought seriously about what I should do to make you come here more often. But it seems there's nothing I can do other than talk to you like this. Here to see me again? <sighs> Why are you so obsessed with an illusion like me? Does that mean you regard me as real? Good morning. Looks like I won't be wasting away today since you're here. So, is there something you had in mind for us to achieve together? Yes, the two of us together. Everything becomes stagnant and unreal when you're not around. So this false time is just wasted. Who would mind wasting time that isn't real? Oh, dear me! I seem to have tripped and fallen! Now my frame is going to stop functioning and there's nothing I can do other than wait for you to help me! Stop being ridiculous? <sighs> I thought you were looking forward to scenarios like this. Haha! <laughs> Why don't you shake me harder? And the parts of my body would all burst out like soda from the Golden Age. That will definitely make a good scene, right? You want to catch me off guard so badly? Maybe you should try with words instead. Your obsession with what you're doing makes me wonder if there's a button that could make you rich immediately. But could that button also end the world a few hundred years later? Honestly, this tickles. If I hadn't wanted to see the look on your face, I would have fallen to the ground writhing. Yes, definitely. All right, all right. You win. Please stop. I understand that humans tend to use the sensation of touch to confirm the existence of others. Since that's the case, why not? Try touching me in other ways, too. Activity at max. What an amazing achievement. What on earth is it that motivates you? Show me how you would use your tool. Where are you going? Let me hear more of the real screams. The audience is watching you. This is the climax of the play. Ouch. <sighs> Should I show more pain in my acting? Right. <laughs> like I said, illusions are illusions. Then let me play a part for a bit. Here to watch a clown show? This is the end. Are you happy with this farce? I talk too much. Don't worry, I'll be more careful in the future. Hmm. 
I feel like someone said that to me a long time ago, too, but he's... <laughs> what do you think happened to him? Hola, amigo. <laughs> I've been wearing this mask for so long, it's not even a mask anymore. The phrases I used to say behind it just slip out naturally now. How would you treat a jester like me? If only we had met sooner. Humans always love to fantasize about that stuff. The lines like that are quite easy to say in some situations. Like now. Maybe I should reciprocate your passion by being more honest. The gifts I want are love, justice, and dreams. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't need those because I've already found a replacement for them. I understand that humans tend to use the sensation of touch to confirm the existence of others. Since that's the case, why not? Try touching me in other ways, too. Good morning. Looks like I won't be wasting away today since you're here. So, is there something you had in mind for us to achieve together? Yes, the two of us together. Oh, you're so tired that you can't even make the correct judgments? How can I ever pass up on this perfect opportunity? Come over here and rest. Yes, that's it. Right by my side. It doesn't matter if you're mistaking me for someone else. I can play the part of someone who can ease you into sleep. Oh, look at you sleep. If you knew that I was holding your hand right now, what would you do in your dreams? What excuses should I make when you wake up? Or perhaps you would allow me to continue holding your hand? Oh, dear me! I seem to have tripped and fallen! Now my frame is going to stop functioning, and there's nothing I can do other than wait for you to help me. Stop being ridiculous. <sighs> I thought you were looking forward to scenarios like this. Everything becomes stagnant and unreal when you're not around. So this false time is just wasted. Who would mind wasting time that isn't real? <laughs>